from friends drifting apart to a bit of hesitancy committing to a long-term relationship. Ooh, this is going to be a good therapy Thursday. Dr. Brenda Lloyd-Jones from the University of Oklahoma is here to answer your questions. It is always good to see you, friend. Likewise, Brian. These so are good, good to see ones you. here today. Let's hear them. Uh, let's jump right in. We'll start with Kent. Uh, Kent says, I am dating someone whom... Uh, I can't see myself with long term. When we hang out, I can't help but feel like I'm wasting both of our time. How should I deal with this? So, okay. What a great question. Yeah. You know, um, we must recognize that Kent is engaged in some self reflection. And to actually describe his dating relationship as temporary is significant. The best thing that Kent can do at this point is to communicate his feelings to his dating partner. He may find out that she doesn't see him as a long-term partner either and enjoys the uh, temporary times that they have uh, on the various dates that they take. Or she may consider him a long-term uh, partner. And this is the perfect time to clear up any misconceptions and to determine how they will navigate the relationship or if they will end it. Here's the heart of the matter, Brian. Anytime you feel as though you're wasting time, whether it's your own time or someone else's, it's time to reconsider. Uh, he can use that time, for example, to learn another language or to volunteer. He can also be conscientious that time is precious. We cannot reclaim it, nor can we replace it. Kent's about to be on Tinder. <laughs> <laughs> All right, our second question comes in from Molly. Molly says, I feel myself drifting away from my friends. Instead of going out to the bars, I'm going to lectures and going to art exhibits. My friends refuse to do those things with me. They say I'm boring. Uh, what should I do? Also a bit of wasted time here. Molly's doing her own thing. Oh, Molly should be commended because it sounds as though she is engaged in a stage of personal growth and development, which is commendable. And often when we find ourselves exploring new activities uh, and examining new interests, uh, we can find that people are not as interested in doing what we are doing. So consequently, um, our old friends find us different. However, I want Molly to know she can have different sets of friends. She can have one set of friends that she shops with, another group of friends with whom she attends lectures, and so they can coexist. Uh, she wants to, however, rethink if the uh, name calling such as boring or stuffy continues. She may want to consider how often she spends time with those old friends. Yeah, it's kind of like a financial portfolio, right? You want to have just a, a whole different diverse group of friends. Absolutely. And we all do. Yeah, we the friend do. that you call for advice is different than the one that you call to go shopping with or hang out with. So Absolutely. Maybe it's the same person, but not always. That's not okay. always. Yeah, we can coexist and we can have an array of different friends. Love it. Great advice today. Those were tough questions. They were. You nailed it. Give me a high five, girlfriend. Thank Good you. Job. <laughs> all right, listen, if you have a question that you'd like for us to talk about next week, you can send in your question right now to Therapy Thursday at Griffin.news and we are back right after this.